everybody, it's Lydia here. Today's top five Wednesday is top five books you didn't expect to like but did. So let's do this. At number five is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I read this for school and the first time I started to read it, the first chapter, didn't understand a word of it. I had to go back and reread it with my cliff notes and basically following the summaries as I read it because I just didn't understand a clue what was going on. The writing is so unique. Um, it's really, it's one of those writing styles that takes a long time to get into. Once however you do get into it, you, it's really a fantastic book and I would really recommend reading it. I really enjoyed it and it's, it's talked about so much because it is a great book so read it. At number four is Paper Towns by John Green. When I first started reading this a few years ago, I just couldn't get into it. I read about three or four chapters of it and just wasn't enjoying it, so I just gave up. And then it wasn't until earlier this year I decided, right, I'm going to try and reread it. Everyone always goes on about this book and I don't understand why I didn't like it the first time round. So I reread it and I'm so glad I did. I don't think it's his best book by any means, but I do think that the ending is really good and it makes up for a perhaps rather slow start so I would really recommend reading it and I'm looking forward to seeing how they adapt it into a movie next year so that'll be interesting. At number three is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I was really late to this series. It was probably going for about three or four years. I think the fourth book had just come out when I started reading it. So I was really late to the party, uh, despite the fact that every single person I knew had read it and was reading it. And I was just being really stubborn. And, you know, ten years later I'm at a Harry Potter conference. So something was right in the end. But yeah. <laughs> At number two is Shades of Milk and Honey by Mary Robinette Cowell. I honestly thought this was going to be a cheap knockoff of Jane Austen and I was really quite wrong and I was so happy I was wrong because it's just really well written. It's so similar to her style and yet there is something unique and different and new about it. It feels very modern and fresh despite the fact that it's obviously set in the same era, Regency England and all that. and. I really enjoyed it and I keep meaning to pick up the second in the series. I haven't yet but I am definitely going to. And at number one is Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I picked this up mainly because everyone on booktube was raving about it but I'd read the blurb on Goodreads and just really wasn't sold on it. It just didn't sound like my kind of book but I'm so glad I read it because I think it was just really poorly marketed. It's basically new adult. They, they said it was young adult and it's really not um, and the blur makes it sound really lame and uh, just a rehash of things that have previously been gone and I think it just takes something in a completely new direction but the the marketing really doesn't express that and it's such a shame because they basically undersold it and they're gonna miss an entire market of people because they have done that so if you read the blurb on goodreads for this and think this doesn't sound like my kind of book i would really recommend checking out other people's reviews and i in fact did a review of this which i'll link to you can click there which i would really recommend checking out because it is the kind of book that i didn't think i would enjoy and i honestly really did so that is it for this top five wednesday i'm in the middle of a quarantine week so i'm not releasing videos every day this week i will however be releasing a book a day uk catch up this friday so check that out and i will see you again for another top five wednesday next week bye